just some of the qualities that describe the life of a junior hockey player. The talent that has been developed through their junior hockey career will be severely put to the test today. A chance of a lifetime to play in the national final. It's an all-Western final today. The Blades and the Broncos, live from Saskatoon, the Memorial Cup. CTV Sports presents the 1989 Memorial Cup, the Canadian Junior Hockey League Championship. Brought to you by... Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kevin Waugh. What a sensational week we've had here in Saskatoon. Tremendous crowds throughout. In fact, last night in the semifinal, they established an all-time attendance record for the Memorial Cup, over 70,000 for the week-long event. It has been a tremendous week for Saskatoonians and Saskatchewan people. Number one, it finally rained in this province. The first time in months, we desperately needed rain. Through the Memorial Cup the last couple of days, the farmers got that. What else do the fans want? It's an all Saskatchewan final with the host team, the Saskatoon Blades, in it against the number one ranked team in junior hockey, the Swift Current Broncos. It wasn't long ago, though, that the Swift Current Broncos hit rock bottom. The league transferred, uh, transferred the team, Leopards, the Sas to uh, Swift Current, and then this happened December the 30th of 1986. Four players died in that bus crash. Two years later, they're in number one. Graham James has done a tremendous job. With this right now, this is how they got into the final last night against Peterborough, 6-2. to two. Trevor Sims scored two goals for the Broncos. This one came early in the second period, and it gave the Broncos the 6-2 to two win. With me now, Dave King, the head coach of the National Olympic team. Dave, the Swift Current Broncos from day one when they won 12 straight for the team to beat, and here they are in the national championship. Well, they've recovered very well from a tragedy three years ago to build a tremendous hockey team, and they've got to the final now. They're a team built upon speed and finesse, and they'll be an excellent team today, Kevin, and they'll give the blades all I can handle today. What's your feeling on Swift Current? Because last night, 24 hours, less than 24 hours, they're in the national final. Could they be tired? Well, there's no question. You've got to bounce back in less than 24 hours to play a very important game. But I think that the, the crowd, 9,000 people, will really generate some adrenaline. Boy, this crowd will be wild today because their home team, the Saskatoon Blades, for the first time ever, are in the national championship. On Wednesday, in a game that decided who would play in the final Saturday, Darren Bader scored this goal in the second period to give the Blades a come-from-behind 5-4 win over the Swift Current Broncos. The Blades knew from day one because they hosted the Memorial Cup they would be here. It has been a tough grind, but Marcel Como's done an excellent job preparing his team the last three weeks. He's done a great job, Kevin. This is an excellent hockey team that's really based upon forechecking. They're well rested, as you mentioned, and I think that's an important part of forechecking is to be able to be rested and really go after them, and it'll be a very exciting hockey game. Saskatoon, I think, has got the crowd behind them, and it'll be a very uh, different game of contrast and styles. We have 9,000 plus. This reminds me of the Chicago Stadium. It is wild here. Let's go to the play-by-play -play booth and Bernie Pascal. Bernie and Dave will provide the play-by-play, -play, and we'll be back from Saskatchewan Place in just a moment with the first period. 